All week, we have been stressing the importance of getting a flu vaccine this year. The city of Jacksonville, doctors and pharmacists are working together in the Flu Vax Jax campaign to protect the health of the community as we approach seasonal flu. Now, Dr. Ivan Porter is the chair of community engagement at Mayo Clinic, and he's helping to lead this initiative. Good morning to you, Dr. Porter. Hi, good morning. Hey, tell us a little bit about Flu Vax Jax. What is it? Flubax Jax is an initiative uh, created by the Duval County Medical Society Foundation uh, that had one strategy, and that's to increase access to the flu vaccine and um, in doing so, educate the community to the benefits of obtaining this vaccine um, for the Jacksonville area. And, you know, every year we talk about how important it is to get a vaccine, uh, but why is it especially important this year? Every year it's important. Um, it reduces an individual's risk of complications from the flu and from getting the flu. Um, furthermore, it reduces the burden on healthcare systems. So less likely to be hospitalized and if hospitalized, less likely to be uh, severely ill. And in an unprecedented time like we're in right now, where we're facing COVID-19 as well and a lot of uncertainty, uh, it makes it that much more important to uh, have a campaign for vaccinations to try to prevent that burden on healthcare systems um, and hopefully keep our communities safe. Now, I got my flu shot on Thursday because I'm going to be flying soon. I want to make sure I was protected in plenty of time. But is it possible to get it too early? Does it matter when you get it? You want to get it before kind of the flu season ramps up. So at least two weeks before. It takes at least two weeks to create antibodies. So honestly, the earliest you can get it, that's when you should get it. Uh, so some clinics already have it available. Some have it coming in. Uh, some employers do the same thing. They have a uh, large uh, allocations that they bring in. Uh, once it's available, you should get it. How are we going to know the difference between the flu and COVID-19? Very difficult. Um, you know, you can think back a year ago, uh, you, you that were sending your children to school, there were runny noses all the time. There may have been fevers all the time. So now we've got to find a way to decipher. And that's difficult. Um, you know, allergies still occur. Uh, itchy eyes, that's something that normally comes with allergies, not really with the other things that we worry about, maybe a common cold. Um, you all, you hear a lot about the loss of sense of smell uh, with COVID-19, and, and that is true. You also can get that with a cold, but for a different reason. Ten, people will have a stuffy nose, and that's the reason why you're not really smelling or tasting the same. Versus in COVID, uh, you don't really get that stuffy nose, but you do have that loss of, um, you know, uh, of taste or smell. Um, fevers, aches, and chills can be anything. Uh, so honestly, you've got to be very vigilant. And if your symptoms uh, are worrisome, you've got to get tested or you've got to go to uh, your primary care physician. So uh, being aware of, of how you're feeling from day to day and uh, being uh, available to reach out to your primary care provider is going to be extremely important. And hopefully we can have some herd immunity for this virus anyway. You, you hope. Uh, the safety of the vaccine uh, for populations is proven. Um, anyone who can get vaccinated should get vaccinated. Right. And this campaign does just that and, and tries to increase access and education to be able to do so. Dr. Ivan Porter from Mayo Clinic, thank you so much for meeting with us this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks. And you can find the answers to all of your questions about flu season on newsforjax.com slash flu vax jax. There are stories about protecting kids, protecting the elderly, and common flu vaccine concerns.